ABC 15's Jason Valentine joins us live outside that home near 19th Avenue and Indian School. And we know it's been very tough on that little girl. Steve, this is really sad. The family says last night they came home and they found this door to the alley open. The lock has been replaced now, but last night it was cut and they think somebody walked into the backyard and then lured their dog out the doggy door and took off. The doggy door Queen Esther the English Bulldog loves. I know she's gone. Was used against her. I just don't understand why someone would come and steal a family member. Barbara Flores says last night when her kid's father got home, he found the lock to the backyard cut and Queen Esther gone, likely lured out the doggy door. Then he called and the kids were screaming and crying and I thought one of them like cut off a finger or something because they were like hysterical. Explaining to the kids why someone would steal a dog? You want Esther to be home? Is impossible. Because I know she's an expensive dog. She's an English bulldog. But she's too old to breed. She's too old to have puppies. She's going to be 10 years old. But Barbara's 11-year-old daughter, Juliet, is taking it the hardest. A lot of panic attacks. Yeah, just really sad. Very emotional. Queen Esther is her emotional support dog to help her with panic attacks. Whenever I get sad, like she senses it, like she comes to me and she calms me down. Now they say whoever took her, for whatever reason, we want Queen Esther back. No questions asked, no nothing, just please bring her back. The family is hoping you'll remember what Queen Esther looks like, and if somebody tries to sell you a dog that looks like that, you'll go ahead and report it. Meantime, Steve, we did talk to Phoenix Police. They say uh, the good news is there's no other reports of dog napping in this area. Yeah, we know that dog is just priceless for that family. Thanks so much, Jason. Absolutely.